because I wanted to understand this community. My wife and I undertook this journey to Auschwitz this year. I don't remember a time in my life where I cried so much. Just walking through the campgrounds of Auschwitz and Birkenau, I wasn't even sure if I was not walking on somebody's grave. I believe that that moment was necessary to allow my own heart to be captured with the pain and to carry that pain so that I can understand the pain, the feelings of these people. And to take this one step further, I spent about 3,000 Singapore dollars buying as many books as I could, either directly relating, relating to the Holocaust or something related to that. God willing, I would like to create a library, a center in Singapore. for Singaporeans firstly and then eventually the nations near and far to be able to have access to this information. You have the Yad Vashem here, you have the Masua here, and these are needed institutions here in Israel because um, you have a call and a commission uh, to tell the world um, what has happened and what must never happen again. And so in a, in a smaller way, I feel very strongly that um, back in Singapore, I need to do this to help create an awareness. But what I never expected was in, in going through this hundreds of books that I had accumulated in March, between March and now, Looking at the pictures and, and reading the stories of the survivors, it, it, it had an effect on me. Sometimes I feel that I'm being haunted. I can never take this off me. I believe this is God and I believe that he is laying this burden on me and that I have a responsibility now to share this burden with as many people as I can. So what happened tonight, I thank you for that, my dear people, I thank you for that. I thank you for taking the first step towards us in letting us know that we are received and that we have a place in your hearts. But what we are really asking for is, after tonight, we are asking for a place in your homes. I hope to bring groups in the years to come that we can actually visit you in your homes and to serve you. There are many people back in Singapore who are actually waiting for such an opportunity. We believe this, this, this interest will grow and that in the days to come, it will go beyond Singapore. And in the years that you have, we would like to walk this, this, this part of your journey with you. We were not with you the last 70 years. But we would like to ask of you for the opportunity to walk with you from this point on. 
we would like to tell our children and our children's children about you. But how special you are. Your stories. We believe we have a responsibility to inform our children and our children's children. I want to thank you, my dear people, for coming around me tonight and to say thank you. Those words mean uh, a lot to me because I came with a thousand questions and 10,000 doubts, not knowing if I would be able to get to your heart. But after tonight, I know. And I want to thank you for taking that step forward and to say those kind words to me. I pray that you will pray for me and for us that we will remember you. And as we do that, that we will be able to discharge our responsibility and allow our role as Singapore and as the nations in the East, allow our service to come to you. This is what I would like to say to you. Shalom.